Hi there, <coughs> it's Tanya from Tati Treasure. Um, <coughs> I'm here to do the third instalment of Amy's colour challenge and this week it's aqua. So, well should I say last week, I'm a little bit late doing it. So when she first said aqua, I thought, oh yeah, I've got loads of blue. Um, but yeah, then a lot and I hadn't got a lot of the aqua so when I looked on Google aqua sent to range from from you know lighter than that to to that kind of color so <clears throat> it's quite a quite a diverse color so I've got some seam binding um I've got a bit of lace and ribbon yeah um, and I've just got bits and bobs in here. Um, I wouldn't say they're all aqua, but um, I've got blue things. So we'll see see how we get on. So that's my little box of stuff. I brought a napkin just in case I feel like doing a little bit of decoupage. But there's little bits of aqua in. It is mainly yellow, but... So pop that over there. I've got my folder. Printed out a few things. Um, that's actually off a, a paper pad. Um, I've got a blue <coughs> backing paper from Artemis. A handkerchief digital from Joanna Cloth. Then these are fantastic. They're um, wallpapers from Lorna at TaylorMade Journals um, she's just brought two kits out which I've just had both of them um, so I just printed out a few sheets of those look at that and it really does look like wallpaper it's fantastic um, I think that's off a kit from uh, da, 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 Junk with Steph but I will put all the links down below printed some little ones off what well, I could either make into booklets <coughs> or cut them up and make them into journal cards printed a few journal cards off and some lovely avocado paper um, I can't remember where I got that from but I will put the link in and then I did some of the linens in, in small pieces in case I wanted to make pockets and then I've got my little bag of, <coughs> of bases, what I'll do my projects on. Just pop my folder <coughs> over there. Might take me a bit to get, get into it. I've been in, in a bit of a slum. Um, I can't say I've lost inspiration because I haven't. I've got a million ideas <coughs> running through my head. Um, I'm just exhausted. It's been a busy, a busy, busy few weeks. And then I've got my folder of neutrals. So let's have a look what bases we've got to, to play on. I just keep popping things in here as I, as I find them. But it'll make it make it a bit easier. Right, I have set the timer. No, oh, it's disappeared. There it is. So I shall start start the time. Okay. So let's have a look what what we've got. Some of the piano paste uh, paper bags. Some of the Tim Holtz back end. Hmm. Interesting. I'll do something with that. I'll do, do a postcard. Yeah, I did try and film <coughs> yesterday, but I just just couldn't couldn't do it. <laughs> um, oh, I've got 
let's turn it on. All right. I'll cover this and make it into a an ephemera type folder. So I think I'll just copy it, copy it, cover it with um, some some paper. Won't use <coughs> that one. It's a bit too directional. Okay. Let's reach for my glue. I've had a bit of a change round on my table, so I'll <coughs> see if it works a little better for me. Um, I had got all my stuff like right in front of me, and I did notice I was. As much as you get prepared, you can't have everything um, right next to you. So <clears throat> I've put things off to to the right a bit. So we shall see. But they may be a little bit too too far off, and I don't want to keep over overreaching. Right. Shall I just not go straight to the edge because. Um, this new printer doesn't seem to print borderless. I don't know if I'm just not not looking at it right or or what, but I have had a mess about with it and I just cannot get it to print borderless and it drives me mad. Because obviously every single piece of paper you use you've, you've then got to cut cut into it. So I shall just cut On this. You know, it won't surprise you if I tell you. My glasses are on my head. <laughs> Let me just put them, <laughs> put them on. Oh dear. Honestly, I don't, I forget that I can't see until I can't see. And then it reminds me. Like, oh yes, I'm blind as a bat. I think, um, after I get back to normal and stuff, I think I'm going to have to, get another appointment with the opticians. I think it must be getting on, it's probably nearly a year since I had my, my last <coughs> glasses, but I do feel like my eyes have deteriorated um, a bit. But um, I'm gonna see if they'll let me have like a, another pair, but maybe a little bit stronger just to just to craft in so yeah I'm struggling seeing you know like the edges of things and, and stuff like that the finer finer details so I've stuck that on just inked it round I'll just bend this slightly Bend it the other way as well. That should be fine. I'm just going lightly down, down there just to get get a crease. Same with this one. Just ease it, ease it in. Right, 
so there is our little booklet um i'll do something with the inside first before <clears throat> before i do the do the front just trim that down a little bit now i've got my glasses on and i can actually see Right, I'll just give it a quick ink inside. I think I will um, ink this all over just to give it some some interest. I don't I don't want to um, stick paper all in the, the inside as well. It'll probably make it far too bulky. Just get these edges. So yeah, I think um, I've missed a dentist appointment. Obviously, they've they've cancelled. But um, one of my crowns has actually come out. It's um, it's not causing me any any discomfort or anything. But um, yeah, they obviously definitely need to to go. Right, I think. I probably want to do the front I could do with something a bit heavy or I might even put um, put a grommet in and have a little little tie round. Right, I've got my script done and archival ink. So I think I'll just randomly <coughs> put some script on. Just to give it a little bit of interest move it about a bit i do find it easier just to use the stamp without a without a you know on a oh i can't think of the word on a base so you can move it around a little bit I'll just keep stamping till till my ink's gone. I think that's about it. Um, let's go see what I've got in here. It's a little tiny butterfly. I'll just put <coughs> put a few of these on. I will put this on on a block because it's small and you need the need the pressure I'm going to have a pocket there so I go there I might end up covering that but oops that's not my ink, that's a pot. <laughs> I'll just put one down here. A couple over here. That's of some going then another direction. There's obviously a flower over there, what, what are they all going for? Let's put them there. Right, that'll that will do. So I've got these <coughs> these pockets which um, my friend Violet made me um, die cut pockets and they're just the papers that that she just wanted to use up really um, she said they'd probably be fine for me just to cover cover over so I think yeah this might not fit actually just um, yeah, I think I'll cover those. Yeah, that's better. What should I do? I think I might do a top one. Just thinking then all the bulk won't be won't be down at the bottom. Okay, let me just get my <coughs> butterfly back out. Just pop a couple more down down here. I think I'll have. That's it. <clears throat> right, let's see what paper to to cover it in. 
I might do it in this beautiful floral one. Okay. So if that's going that way, let's turn my paper the right, the right way. So that'll want to go there. I don't know how easy these will be to cut round. We shall see. without it being white so what I'm going to do is stick down the main part I'm not going to cover the the flat bits because um, it'll make it too chunky and it won't it won't lay very well so I'll just cut around this so yeah like I say I've not I've not lost my actual um, inspiration to craft just felt so so tired um physically and mentally but um yeah I shall just do this today and slowly ease myself back in it has been a crazy few weeks from you know breaking up well, I say breaking on from my work, closing, um, being at home, um, obviously my daughter being off from school, <coughs> now my partner is off from work. So, um, yeah, just, I think like the first week we were we sent very organised and... Um, you know, out of plan and stuff, but it just seemed to have lost his, lost his way. And I think, <clears throat> you know, we all need um, some motivation and and stuff. And I've, it's just been very, very draining. And um, yeah, the last two weeks have been absolutely crazy busy and me. <clears throat> dream catcher shot I've probably done oh I don't know six six times the amount of orders I would normally normally do um so yeah I've had to spend a lot of hours making the the kits up because um they are they are a little bit time consuming um I'd say it probably takes a good 40 minutes to an hour for for each kit, you know, from start to finish, messaging the customer and making it up and packing it and stuff. So, but, um, both my Etsy shops now are on... Um, two to three week delivery um, date so at least that takes the, the pressure off of it I don't think I could face face making another one up for for a while so I'm not posting again till I think 21st of, of this month so yeah I've got <clears throat> got a few days before I need to to get back at back at them. Right, so that will go there, and that will go there. Oh, I'm liking this. So I've had this upside down. So let's hope that that it wants to come out without squeezing all me all my might. get 
into the corner I'll just leave a gap sorry if my head's in the way I'll just leave a gap all the all the way around that's it press press down I think instead of making tags straight up I did um, I did print a few tags off so I might just cut and cut two out and just put them in just for just for show down down the bottom yeah what beautiful paper this is and um, there's such a lot of different different colors so I, j I just printed out the ones where I've got got the aqua in um, oh dear I can't see the whole fur Oh, that was painful. <laughs> right, um, where's those printouts? I think I'm going to use... No, I won't use that for something. Like, I want tall ones anyway. Oops. Got another sheet somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> for this one That is one and go for this one. looking like it's going to be quite a nice day again today I think um, yesterday it was like 21 um, I have I've never known an Easter holiday be so nice um, it's everything's normally normally rained off um, <laughs> sods law don't say Easter's normally a big um, camping kind of weekend and and stuff because it's obviously a really long bank holiday with the Good Friday and then the Easter Monday um, and it's normally horrendous weather yeah that looks cute Definitely gonna need need something. No, that's not gonna hold it right. I'm gonna put um put a hole in it and um, tie it tie it round. Let's put an eyelet in. I don't think that fits in or not. Um, oh, no, that might be long enough. Right, let's tie this. Um, I have to put a bit of something, something on the front. 
might use that flower actually that I just poured poured out. seems to be flying flying on the floor right so I'm looking here this is where I keep all my oh I do need that for another project that I was working on Let's see if I've got something I might go for a round one oh that could be nice though oh yes I like that <coughs> I'll just give it a, just just a touch. I think in in the summer I've got a few um, projects planned, but um, after that I'm really fancying doing a few projects. Check those. Um, knowing like using white paper um and yeah just just going no no ink so i think that would be a real big challenge because i do love other people's work that um that isn't inked so uh, whether you just get into the habit and <laughs> she goes through for the ink um but yeah, like Roxy very, very rarely uses ink. Um, Junie from Willowbound Journals, you know, Amity Bloom. They, they're all quite crisp. Use my bigger Fabri-Tac. And um, the stuff looks beautiful. So I'm quite fancying doing some blue and white um, projects seen a couple of nice nice kits oh, I've had this upside down as well and still doesn't want to come out and get into the light the last third of of this bottle has anybody else noticed how much glue has gone up online I'm guessing that people have sold out um and then the people who have got, you know, some some left, they've absolutely hiked the prices up. Um, I, I found it hard to to order another one. I did manage to get one at kind of normal price, but <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the rest I'd seen was um, so expensive. But I do guess that 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 will. Oh, I like that 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 will happen um oh yes love it um yeah so i wasn't quite ready for any but um i did think i best what have i done with that Alex? um i did think i best get one just in case um i've actually ordered quite a bit in the last week or so just just thinking like well what if what if I can't get hold of of things? So I've ordered another um, twelve by twelve uh, Tim Holtz botanical, so I can carry on with uh, Tina's at Shabby Dabby Doodah's must make challenge. So I've still got plenty, plenty of it it left, but I know I'm going to need need a lot more I 
shall change that ribbon and I've it's a bit I can't speak it's a bit um out of balance oh I could do it like that that's okay it's fine ignore me forget that <laughs> forget that bit oh that's turned out lovely right, let's just cut cut the ribbon off So that, so that is my first piece. I shall put that underneath something and so it will start laying flat. Right, let's have a, a quick a quick tidy up, get everybody back in in the places. I'm gonna have to have a quick drink of tea. I've not been up very long. This is my second cup, I'm still quite groggy. Excuse me for the slurp. Right, let me check my timer. Oh my gosh, that took 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, crikey. Right. Wow. Going into absolute, um, what do you call it? Um, stress. <laughs> right. I'm going to do a tag for the pocket and another tag so like that um so yeah i'm just going to cover cover this jazz it up a bit don't know if to do that one or shall i do that one yeah i might do that um oh well at least I've, I've come on and, and done it. Um, I did film a little video yesterday and I really wasn't wasn't feeling it. So if you haven't seen that, it's um, my first ever giveaway. So I just finished the file folder from the free principal at Kelly's Crafts. Um, and I'm offering that as, as a prize. Um, so if you've not seen that, go and check it out. All you need to do is be a subscriber, like that video, and then leave <coughs> leave either a question or just um, a suggestion of video ideas what you'd what you'd like to see um, in the future and. It is open until I reach um, 250 subscribers. I think I need, I don't know, another six, another six day. So it's as open as long as, as long as that takes. And then I shall draw a winner out at, at random. And then I shall send it, send it off to to whoever. So yeah, I thought <laughs> with the questions that I get asked, um, I've been wanting to do a face to face video. Um, I was going to do one on on my hundred subscribers, and I think I was just that busy, um, you know, getting into the video, and 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 that was when my shop went crazy and stuff so it just didn't happen but um yeah i'm quite keen on doing it you know this is me let's have a let's have a chat oh that's beautiful oh wow i'd love that in my bedroom um oh no that's not gonna it's not gonna really go i don't want to do the bottom of that that's oh stripes could be nice Yeah, I think I'll do the do the stripes glue. So yeah, I did film that um, <clears throat> three times. No, four times. That it was like fourth time lucky, but um, yeah, I found it quite quite hard work. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm, 
I think I'm doing all right. I can feel my coming back to life a bit. But, and so I think now I've only, I think it's four weeks since I started my channel. Um, and obviously fitting that in with with everything else, it's like an extra, you know, it's an extra thing, thing to do. I don't know if my friend Violet, uh, I must ask her, Violet if you're watching, um, do you want me to put your link to your to your eBay store? I, mean, I know you are still posting um, if it's got a stamp so you can just pop it in your local post box but um yeah let me know if um if you do want me to put your um ebay link in oh that's lovely and and i will i will do i've not put it in because um i have been meaning to to ask you i didn't know if you'd want um want you know more <clears throat> more customers at, at this time. I know you can get quite busy, busy enough. So yeah, let me know. Right, I'll just glue that down. Should have probably decorated the tag before, um, before I did that. I just got really excited. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know if to keep with the theme and maybe that would be too much. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. Let's have a look. Let's get, get rid of some stuff. Let's have a look what I've got in here. Get this in, in here. Um, oh, he would have been lovely. Oh, stunning. Right, come on, you've not got time to... Oh, you know, I might go... I go with that. Here's um, I've got a little. It's here. Sorry if I've just um slid off the off the universe. It's um. I'm quite liking that. You know, I'm I'm going for that. Who would thought that um, adding more flowers wouldn't just be a bit too much, but it actually really goes. I just got that. Right, so whatever I make today, I am going to add to it because um this set is is going to be part of um a future giveaway which um I'm gonna do a bit of a um I don't know, I don't know if you'd call it collaboration or but I've got together with it with another YouTuber and we're doing um a double a double giveaway. I don't know if she wants to do some kind of project um, between us that would be quite interesting yeah so yeah I will I will add add to it because obviously I've not made a lot <laughs> oh come on and then the glue decides to go on strike <laughs>
so yes we've we've picked blue as our theme for for us giveaway because um we both really love blue and birds and butterflies <laughs> so yeah that'll be really exciting oh come on i might just give up with these bottles i've i've really not not liked it at all right i shall just glue stick this on That's that. Right, should we cover this tag in? That reminds me actually because I watched um, I watched a video the other night. Um, Roxy from Roxy Creations is doing another hundred day challenge, and it's um, all things that that inspire. So one of the days was handkerchiefs, um, which are just some lovely things I mean I mean big glow so yeah that just reminded me me of her I think I might do do a few of the days there's no way I could do a hundred day I, I really don't know how she managed it um last year but um yeah but yeah I might I might do do a few when I've caught up with with everything because um they've inspired me to want to to want to do them too which um is obviously the whole the whole purpose in it so that's working I've just used bits of, um, you know, scrap bits of card what I've been left from, from other projects. And uh, Roxy's sisters joined in. Absolutely fabulous. They uh, seem to be very, very different crafters. Um, and I saw the first one that, that she did with the... Um, I can't really put one in there. Um, with the specimen slides. And they looked absolutely fabulous. So uh, I did notice like she she's a measurer and stuff so I did think like how unlike <laughs> so yeah if um if you're not following Roxy's sister Sarah you, you should um, it was it was really good to see and I think I've seen a few people 
on Instagram um, following. I've seen some pictures and stuff. So I think this the challenge will probably go on for a lot longer than 100 days if, if everybody else starts. Oh, that's not. Let me just... Um, <coughs> Yeah, if everybody starts starts doing it, it could um, take us all the way through through summer. So yeah, I think I might just um, you know just pick one one up every now and again, the ones that really inspire me. I bet you're on there, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I will back that. See, so I would have left it obviously like that. I'd not, um, I'd not thought about uh, the pocket, the flaps of the pocket. So, reminded me a little bit of of Easter. So that's that. So we've got we've got three items. <laughs> I've made a tag. <laughs> so that's oh upside down. That's those. Let's check that timer again. Oh 17 minutes. Cool. Right. What else can I make? I'll put more tags and stuff in in that um tag pocket causing mayhem right I've got this bit of card oh <clears throat> I could do one of the the matchbox books that um that I did on the shabby dabby doodah mass makes oh, not like that i can't so <laughs> test to see if i can remember how to do it so yes that's it and then you glue that bit down yes i remember now so we will need to cover this I'm going to use this, this paper from Art Mayers. I'll do it. See if that's downwards. Yeah, it wants to go that away. Glue stick. Oh, this has gone really. Um, oh, melty. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Melty. Um, yeah, it gets the sun in here. Still not got that blind up. Um, and so I'm waiting for for my partner to to put it up, but because the weather's been so nice, he's been wanting to get in the garden. So I think it's going to have to wait until the weather's not so nice. Oh, it's run out of things to do, aren't there? But um, it did dig in out a pond. I don't know. I think it was the year before. Um, so it's been it's been messing about with that. So that's that. Right. So you just pop some, some glue in into this space and then that flap will stop stop the, the top bit pong ponging poinging boinging <laughs> boinging out quick let me ink it.
I won't cover it inside with it. I did this off um, a bit of leftover from a, a manila folder, so that's it's fine like that. I might just do a little bit of a script, but obviously this is a, a writing space, so. use that yeah I'll use that other butterfly I'm just gonna cut that down just a, a little bit these are from when I've done uh, you know a mass sitting cutting loads of stuff out and then when you go back to them you, you can see um, how wide you've been with the with the cut Probably didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. Right, that an ink. So yeah, we've um, got to go out shopping again. I did go the other day. Well, I went to the post office to send all my parcels off, and I went, and um, the queue was absolutely horrendous, and I just couldn't. Um, I just couldn't so I came home um, but yeah we're going to have to go today um, yeah I really don't want to but um, we are now going to only go out every two weeks we have been going out every week like once a week to post office and shop but um, yeah we're going to go down to every two weeks so obviously we need to get get enough food to last um two weeks so oh, i'm liking these see what um time we've got left oh 11 minutes oh just have a, another drink of my tea I've, I've run out of ideas oh i know i know i've been wanting to try something let me um I grab, I've seen it, um, well that's still quite dumb, I'm drying paper at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been seeing this a lot. I think it, Yvonne Preston does it um, a lot. I don't know if that's where where it originated from or, or whatever. I don't know how, because if that was... Oh, yeah, that might be it. I think my paper's going to have to be smaller than this. Right, let me think. Right, that's what I was going to save um, that card for. So it's like um, a, hidden, a hidden writing spot. And obviously it gives you... A lot more um, writing space. Um, glue this on on here yeah I've seen it loads of times and I've always thought oh I must make that I must make that so it literally just looks like um, a journaling card on um, on the page but I could have made it into a pocket really oh we might try that another time Okay, so put that there. So, right, 
phone that I have many frames, sorry if I've been and say so it's so natural just to bring bring everything to you. So we'll cut cut that off and then cut that off. So you would go da, yeah that's it. Da da Ah, yeah, so I'm going to put, um, I think I'm going to put a little, a little tab on it. How would that work then? Oh no, because if you went like that, you would then not be able to say, so. uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I've ever um, done one, so yeah, do that. And then that will show that, um, you know, that there's something on the page that um, you need to do something with. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, include these when I do my, my file folders. Okay, let's take that like that. Yep. So that is that. Probably will sew round round that, but <coughs> you don't doesn't need it. So that is that one. Um what else can I make? Got six minutes. Hmm. I think my mind's gone now. See if anything in here inspires me. Suppose I could make um could do a cluster or a or a ruffle. That's beautiful. And these are from Stephanie at my porch prints. Anyway, it's not time to let's let's have a look in your box. Need some inspiration. Yeah, do that. Okay. Right, I think that's just a little bit too thick for a. I'm going to do just a, a quick, quick ruffle. So I just pinch, pinch the paper and just press it down. We can all remember doing this as a kid. This is how we used to do um, the fans. Oh no, on them you'd go that way, turn it round, wouldn't you? And then go, I think, yeah. Maybe we don't all know how to do a fan because <laughs> I clearly don't. Yeah, I must just my daughter, Ma, but she can't can't remember so I mean she's 12 now so it's been it's been a while since she's made a fun I might ask her it could be today's today's challenge so we leave that like that normally I would sew sew down it but um, I'm just going to literally put put a a tinsy wincy bit of bit of glue on just to just to hold it. I won't do everyone actually because I'm gonna put some um seam binding down down the middle of it. birds popped out at me about three times I will use you next off camera promise so 
so put me in, put me in. So I'll just <laughs> stick that down. Down that. Press down. Turn the lid on. I've just put put a line down down the middle. So I'll just pop that on. Cut that off. I'll just leave it a tiny bit, a bit longer. And then I'm just gonna put that, that on there like that. Quick and easy page embellishment. You can obviously just use it as decoration or just stick it down the top and down the side and have it as a bit of a tuck. Or just glue it down one side actually. Yeah. Or you can put it, you know, on something. like that you can have it at the side of your page yeah like them they're just really quick and easy and simple so I've got one minute 47 seconds what could I do what could I do um <laughs> I could just flip through my box for, for one minute and 30 seconds maybe I don't know I don't think I've really got any scraps close to me. Yep. So, oh, got a bit of craft paper. Like a quick cluster. Okay. I don't know if my phone's on silent or not. Mind you, I think alarms go off even if they're on silent. I know like my alarm to get out of bed does, but um have a look what we've we've made a mess and <laughs> that's what we've made <laughs> what I've made sorry sorry for getting you into trouble so we've made this oh, the, the good nice things though aren't they I'm pretty impressed really because it's it's cheered me up um yeah I've got a knot in that and I can't do it so yeah a little little ephemera folder I will put some more more tags in and I will glue them as you stand so they don't stick up so I've got that little ruffle a little cluster what well, both one thinking up this secret writing spot yeah I must I must make more of those I like them um little matchbox hidden 
space. That's not properly dry yet. And then yeah, my tag pocket and mini tag. So thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to, um, what have you got to do? Oh, you've got to go on the part three of my file folder and, um, and enter the, the giveaway. So thanks for joining me today. Bye.